So we are looking at yet another one of these ion systems. It's an ICP product labeled as Tempstar. And it ain't a working. It's only a year old. The last one we had was a bad blower motor. The blower's running. This thing is zoned. There's two zones upstairs. Go figure nest thermostats. So I started up there first. My DAT sensor is reading correctly. Both zones are calling. Both damper motors. I guess we came out about a month ago. We told him if it happened again, he would recycle the power and everything would work. We told him this time to leave it all set and just let it do what it's doing. Just leave everything set. And uh, this one's a little bit different. The other one had that big drive assembly and everything in it. This one doesn't. Thank goodness. Still don't know a lot about it, but that's what we're here to figure out. But it's 24 volt wired. I did go upstairs. Jesus, that's in there pretty tight. Cut that wire off too short. Got this thing running up here tight as I'll get out. We got this thermostat switch that we've got. Breaking the heat strips, but it doesn't look like it's wired that way because you still have to energize so uh, maybe it is I don't know yeah so it's wired up for 24 volts but both zones are open all the dampers are open the zone board is sending a call for Y1 and Y2 so let's confirm that we are getting Y1 and Y2 our outdoor unit. So we got common. And so we are getting 26 volts on Y1. And we are getting 26 volts on Y2 to this control. So let's see if we can find the fault code. Status light. There we go, that yellow one. So, let's see how many times that's flashing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. So let's see what our 81 fault code is gonna be. If it's on the list anywhere. So, 81, low stage thermal lockout. <laughs> so, gotta guess that's it. We got our pressure lockouts there. Low stage thermal lockout. I have to, I have to assume that's related to the compressor temperature. don't know if this unit, see how many wires are going into that compressor case. So we've got blue, black, yellow, and then a couple of browns, which I have to assume got my glasses on. Yeah, the DAT sensor here and an OCT sensor. Let's see if that is on our OCT thermal thermistor coil. I don't know if that's for the compressor or not. I don't know if I have any other brown wires. Brown and a 
Vanilla Brown compressor is coming right off the contactor and then obviously we have our Herm there and we have two wires coming off of that and those two wires here's my blue is our start and then our capacitor let's see 30 by 5 Brown, fan brown, and then I've got yellow and yellow. And we don't have the start relay on this one, so and then we've got blue and blue from VS. So coming from the compressor the other one coming from right there okay so I have to assume this brown guessing this board is locking that out possibly there Let's see what kind of amp draw I'm getting when I push the contactor in we just have a bad compressor on this uh, year old unit Let's see what kind of amp draw we get when we push that in 69 80 75. You didn't see that. Eighty-one, seventy-five amps. It's going out on thermal overload. So let's own this compressor out and see what's going on with it. Okay. Got the breaker turned off. Confirm that we have zero voltage. And that zero. So I'm going to arm it out through the windings, the wires first. likely going to have an open common for our thermal overload but this thing was trying to pull 70 amps and the uh, LRA on this unit is 92 it did go up to 81 or 82 one time so I mean, it's just a 2023 unit. I don't like the way that wire is so tight under there. And that transformer is hot. And there is a transformer in this outdoor unit. So I'm assuming, yep, it is supplying 24 volts to this board. So yeah, we've got transformers in outdoor units now. Damn. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. This one's gonna be open. For thermal load is open. Thermal overload is open. And that would be our common more than likely. Okay, so we are 0.7 common to run. 
1.6 to common to start and then run to start 2.4 so 0.7, 1.6, 2.3, 2.4 so it appears to be ohming okay our thermal overload is not open So I'm going to reset the power to this thing to reset that fault code. Uh, it may do it. Usually you got to disconnect your 20 volt, 4 volts from the inside. It supplies the board outside most of the time to reset your fault codes. This one has its own transformer. And which makes sense. There's no R over here with your thermostat wires so this board is powered from this transformer so when I turned off the breaker it should reset all this so I'm going to tighten all this back up and I'm going to reset the breaker should still be getting a call Y2 and Y1 and we are from inside so I'm sure there's going to be some kind of delay in this thing and I want to be hooked up right around here when it comes on and see what that amp draw gives me on this compressor when it comes on Breakers back on and let's wait on our delay. See what happens. Then I'm gonna check this capacitor just for giggles to be sure. This unit's only a year old and we don't have a bad capacitor in this thing. Check the capacitor real quick for all the super techs that. And we have 29.2 out of 30. And 5 out of 5. 29.2. Not our problem. So I can tell you, I wonder if this thing, this wiring diagram, has a start relay and start capacitor on the wiring diagram. But there's not one in the unit. And this thing is upstairs, third floor. I know it has a TXV in it. I'm wondering if this thing just needs a start kit put in it. Is it showing one present? And it did this before we came back and he had turned everything off. We turned it on and it came on and ran, but I wonder if, if it gets to the point where maybe it cycles I don't know what kind of it's a I wonder if it needs this start kit I mean it's got a little exclamation or a little star by it which means more than likely it's just a field installed or if needed C start capacitor maybe yep right there maybe field installed I wonder if it doesn't need one of those and it's just from time to time having a nope compressor is locked up so it's pulled 92 amps when the contactor closed So when that contactor closed, it pulled 92 amps, and that's pretty much what the LRA is on it. 
Now we're on a 72 high stage thermal cutout. So this thing needs a compressor and it needs a start kit put in it. That's got to be what it is. Push that contactor back in, see what happens. Yeah, this, this compressor's locked up. Won't start. We probably should have put a start kit in this thing when it was installed, more than likely. So, that's my synopsis. Luckily, it's under warranty. So, get a compressor ordered and uh, go ahead and order a OEM start kit for it as well. Come back out, replace the compressor, put a start kit in it, and see if he has better luck with that. So, anyway, appreciate you watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and uh, this video is brought to you by those people. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.